What is going on? I am Johnny Von Duke and you are watching Disney Channel. Why the fuck do I keep doing this intro? Man, you know, life finds a way. Finds a way to be really fucking stupid. What is going on, everybody? Johnny Von Duke here. You can see the tab up above me. Assuming I haven't edited out of the cropping, but, uh... Yeah, we're talking about this guy. Now, I didn't even know this guy was still popular, I'll be honest. I didn't even know he was still relevant. <laughs> like, the last time I heard about him in the news cycle at all was, like, 2013. And I was in middle school. So, 10 years, I haven't heard hide or tail of this guy. You know, he's just been off doing his own thing. I've been ignoring it. I haven't been on the Little Wayne train in forever. And like I said, I didn't even know he was still making music. You know, maybe we'll react to some modern tracks of his. I don't know. His music was never the best to me. I was never on the Little Wayne train, so... Yeah, what do you want me to say? He's just not my style of music at all. But we're gonna hop right into this. Because I have read through this shit, and this is just fucking insane. How pompous, how pompous this fuck is acting. This pompous fuck, man, like Gordon Ramsay is saying. <laughs> Little Wayne stops concert after just 30 minutes and then blasts the audience. Yikes ahoy. <laughs> But this was the end of his tour, too. You know, the biggest show you're supposed to do. Now, listen, we got a nice little photo of this place. I'm not going to play the clip because I don't want to get struck by copyright and all that shit. That happens enough on my remasters, and that's to be expected. And no, don't expect any Lil Wayne tracks to be remastered, either. But essentially, I know this place looks small, but I've looked it up. Here, I'm covering it up. This fucking place is a 12-story, 155-foot building. So, I'm assuming the 12-story thing is a balcony setup where each balcony can hold so many more people. So you got the main floor, and then 12 stories worth of balconies for people to look down at the concert. So this guy just stopped the concert dead. <laughs> After he was 3.5 hours late, it was supposed to start at 9 p.m., so it basically started at midnight anyway. And then 30 minutes into the midnight hour, he just cut the concert off. After he didn't even perform for those 30 minutes either. He performed a little bit, but eventually he got sick of it and gave it up for his, for his uh, entourage, I guess. These wannabe artists, Little Twist. With the little Twist? <laughs> Why is this guy's name Little Twist? Okay. Yaj Cotter. I'm gonna pretend like that name doesn't even exist. Alec Kuba. This man's actually named after a fucking country. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna pretend like these names don't exist. But when uh Country Man over here was about to perform his second song, Wayne suddenly returned to the stage and it says it right here grabbed the microphone and told the fucking singers or rappers whatever that shows canceled the audience wasn't hype enough says it all right here beautifully in this little paragraph man that's that's a beautiful paragraph because yikes why are you stopping a concert over that reason alone you're not doing yourself any favor like think about it like this would you rather have a bad concert or a concert you made bad on purpose like, I would think the naturally bad concert would be better, but you just made it bad on purpose. <laughs> I get this isn't breaking news, but what the fuck, Brody? Why is this what you're doing with your life? Why? Why, Wayne? You know, and you had these other uh, artists on here, and, you know, you, you gave them the opportunity and you ripped it away from them in the same night. I know they were on tour with you, probably. I don't care. And oh yeah, also, uh, nobody cares because there's uh, zero comments on here. So nobody really cares. I don't really care. I just find this fucking hilarious, man. Like, how can people be deranged enough to tank their careers on purpose? Like, I don't think his career is going to be tanked. 
but this is the second time he's pulled this apparently. Yes, somewhere in this article, I don't feel like looking for it. Oh, it's right here. Blah, 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 right here. He canceled beforehand, so you know how it fucking goes. Oh my god, I just saw that video clip. That is fucking insane. But anyway, so he just fucking cancels now for the second time. The first time he canceled was just, ay ay ay, with just 24 hours notice. How about 48 hours at least, buddy? 48 days later. <laughs> but yeah, this is a short little video. There's nothing major on this. I don't really have any king insults for this, because honestly, if you're paying money for this concert, you're a goddamn idiot anyway. So... I'm not really going to be doing the world any favors by insulting your bitch ass, but hey, who knows, man. Hopefully one day, you know, little Wayne will get some brain cells back in his head. Maybe his fan base will stop paying him money. And maybe these artists will uh, do something meaningful with their lives. But anyway, I've been Johnny Von Duke. I'm going to become a SoundCloud rapper, and it is time to take it away, other me. Woo! Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's pretty much a nothing burger, but if you've been watching my channel for all eight years that's existed, you should know that's uh, kind of what we do here. Anyway, if you somehow found yourself enjoying it, click over here to watch another video. Click over here to watch another degenerate video. Click here to subscribe to my channel. Then click down there for, well, whatever lazy lack of originality content I put there. Anyway, get the fuck out of here, you filthy animal. Goodbye. Nah, man, that video is actually fucking wild, though. Like, that video right there, that shit is fucking wild. Why am I looking at my OBS screen when the camera is right there? What's even the point of doing these outro cards? Eh.